this is what we are going to create with ray casting geometry node on our channel think sci-fi delete camera and lighting for now hide cube and add landscape add-on add landscape by pressing shift a mesh landscape i am selecting volcano but you can play with other options also increase the height little bit press one for front view then place landscape on minus one on z axis go to the geometry node and unhide the cube then select it and press new delete group input and add grid and connect instance on point in between add cube and connect it to instance reduce the size of cube around 0.015 Increase the grid X and Y to 4 or 5 and vertex of 200. Make some space because we add few more nodes. Press Shift and search set position and connect it. Then search ray cast. Connect ray connect ray cast is hit to selection and hit position to position nothing happens because we have to drag the landscape and connect it to target geometry then nothing happen because we have to apply all the transform to landscape for that select landscape and press ctrl a and select all transform remove hit position and connect math node make a duplicate of math node by pressing shift d select multiply in first math node and subtract in second math node connect hit distance to multiply math node and connect multiply math node to subtract math node now add combine xyz and separate xyz connect object info location to separate xyz and connect z to subtract and subtract to combine x y z z and value to offset of set position we have to connect map range in between subtract and combine x y z now when you move the landscape to the negative side in the z axis then it will form on the top Increase the cube z axis if you want. Apply a material and give it a name. Increase the metallic only. In geometry node, add set material between set position and output, group output and select material here select a best position and add a camera press 0 for camera view decrease the focal length to 35 press N and go to the view and select camera to view now adjust the camera with the help of mouse scroll wheel and shift key to the best position. If you are satisfied with your camera position 
then don't forget to uncheck camera to view otherwise you will lose your posis camera position i will add one more camera to the scene with the same process by clicking this camera icon you will make the second camera as active camera click 0 for camera view and select camera to view by pressing n key reduce the focal length to 35 and adjust the camera with the help of mouse scroll wheel and shift key don't forget to uncheck the camera to view i will render it in cycles like gpu if it is if it is supportable reduce the view port maximum sampling to 32 or less and render maximum sample to 32 Press seven for top view, and now we will add three aerial light to this scene. Click Shift A and add a aerial light. Rotate it one eighty degree on X rotation. increase the light up to the size of landscape click shift d and make a duplicate and increase it up to the size of the ground rename the light otherwise you will get confused increase the power of small light up to 500 and color whatever you want move it on z axis little bit increase the power of big light around 150 and color whatever you want move this light also on the z axis press 1 for front view and make a duplicate of big light by pressing shift d and set it on the z axis now in setting tab go to the world and add principal volume and connect it to volume and decrease the density to 0.01 Now come back to the layout it's time to animation i will make the timeline of 220 frame frame 40 select the landscape and make the z location 0 and enter keyframe on z location go to the frame 90 and make the z location minus 1 and and enter keyframe click 0 for the camera view then select the camera go to frame 1 and press i and select location then go to frame 45 or 50 then press then press g key and mouse scroll wheel and drag your drag your mouse forward then press i and again select location then go to frame 1 again and bring your mouse cursor over timeline and press m click mark select bind camera to mark 
go to frame 50 click the camera icon of second camera to make it as an active camera move your cursor over timeline and press M again then select mark bind camera to mark on frame 90 select cube on rotation Z enter keyframe go to last frame enter 360 on Z rotation and enter keyframe you have to enter the same keyframe to both the ground light also before rendering check whether everything is good or not by by clicking render render image to render it make maximum sampling 32 in render i prefer to render it as a png sequence for that select a folder then press render render animation if you have any question or any suggestion please let me know in the comment section thank you very much for watching